Hallelujah. Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and today is the 23rd day of December, the 23rd day of the Minnesota Whiskey Elite Blind Advent Calendar, and I'm coming in with a little bit of swagger, a little bit of a strut, and a little bit of... What's another word for... I don't know. Feeling pretty good. Yesterday, yesterday, I nailed the bottle completely. I gave it a good score. I friggin' nailed it. I got the exact bottle correct. And today, I'm fixing to do the same thing. That's why I wore this undersized bomber jacket again. Because yesterday, it provided such good luck that I thought, why not wear it again? and see if we can actually get a little bit of a rhythm going. Jingle bell time, it's a swell time to pour this pour right now. America time is a swell time to swirl this whiskey fast as hell. P.S. By the way, I do not anticipate to do well. I like to gloat a little bit when I feel like I did well. I like to give myself a pat on the back. But I can't, because this jacket is way too small for me to reach my back. Good morning. In less than an hour, aircraft from here will join others from around the world. And we will be launching the largest whiskey drinking battle in the history of mankind. Mankind. That word should have a new meaning to all of us today. We can't be consumed by our petty differences anymore. We will be united in our common interests. Perhaps it is just fate that today is December 23rd, and you will once again be fighting for your freedom. And by freedom, I mean how good you are at tasting whiskey. Not from tyranny or oppression or persecution, but from annihilation. We're fighting for our right to live, to exist, to taste whiskey. And should you win the day, the 23rd of December will no longer be known as a national holiday, but the day that the world declared in one voice, we will not go quietly into the night. We will not go down without a fight. We're going to live on. We're going to survive. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. The fudge is that? Son of my bitch. Well, maybe, maybe today won't be the day. Maybe we'll just sleep in today. We'll fight for our freedom tomorrow. How about that? Push it off just one day. Young, young, young MGP? Is it young MGP? It's not that young though. It's just sweeter. It's a little bit spikier and sweeter. This smells like a four to five year old MGP. Super sweet, super gas station candy, like Mike and Ike's and friggin' Twizzler ropes, pulling peels and like, there's some green apple on here. A Little bit of green apple. Hello boys, I'm back. The more I nose it, the more familiar it's becoming. It smells like it's gonna taste extra super yummalicious, fergalicious, ding. Cherries, cherries and strawberries, cherries and strawberries, and a little bit of, there's like a tinge, a tinge of like honeysuckle on there. Honeysuckle, cherries, strawberries. The wheels are turning, the wheels are turning, and I'm thinking, I'm having a discussion with myself inside my head while I'm talking to you, which is frankly incredible that I could even think that I could possibly pull that off, which I can't. And if I had to actually think to myself, it would look more like this. That's kind of where we're at here. That's kind of where we're at. Saltwater taffy. I'm getting some strong saltwater taffy notes now. This nose is progressively getting better as it sits in this clear, beautiful Bourbon Junkies Glencairn. 
There's a medicinal cherry note there. A sweet medicinal cherry. Day 23 is very nice. It's crushable, super drinkable, super nice, super sweet, super enjoyable, and I like it a lot. I like it a lot. If I had to score it, I would put it on the very top of very good. I would say it's a 7.9. It's a 7.9. It's not like deep dark flavors that we got yesterday with that pour. Instead, it's a bit brighter, a bit shinier, a bit sparklier. I do like this a lot. I think it's around a five year MGP, leading me to believe it could be Smoke Wagon Small Batch or possibly a lower proof Nulu. Oh man. Now that I go back to the, the nose continues to get better. Now this smells like straight raspberry syrup. It's kind of starting to lead me to believe it's a buffalo trace, but I won't be tricked. I will not be fooled. One last sip and then we'll do the reveal. Damn, that's good. There's a little guy on the internet. He reviews pizza. His name is Dave Portnoy. And he basically taught me that once I give a score, I gotta stand by it. I need to stand by it. And I'm gonna stand by the 7.9, but it's only fair for me to tell you that I have an instinctual urge to bump it up into the, into the low eights. That last sip was a little bit bigger and I got a little bit more of the bourbon inside the mouth on the tongue and the palate. And it did tremendous things in there. It did such tremendous things. 7.9 if I'm sticking with my score. 8.1 if I decided I could change it. But I can't. I'm not allowed to. So 7.9 it is. But also 8.1. This got better and better and better as it sat in the glass. Which is a great thing. That's a great thing. Whatever is in here, I would like a bottle of. Whatever was in this class, I'm going to seek out. If I don't have a bottle of it already, I'm gonna seek one out because delicious. Day number 23. Is it MGP or did it fool me? Time to find out. Day 23. Okie dokie. Well, so there's that. The bomber jacket's not exactly good luck because screwed that one up. I maybe should have listened to my Buffalo Trace distillery urge a little bit more. Probably should have listened to that a little bit more because this is Blanton straight from the barrel. 128.2 proof. It's good, it's very good. And I'm telling, I'm telling you right now, the more I smelled it and tasted it, the more I loved it. So there's that. There is that. That's cool. I think I've only had straight from the barrel. Maybe, I don't know, not very often. Maybe a couple times. Maybe a couple times. So the bomber jacket is not a good luck charm. And I'm going to ditch it for something that actually fits. Thank you, Minnesota Whiskey Elite, for this calendar. It's been so much fun. We still have two days remaining. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on cooking ham for Christmas because turkey sucks. And I just want to say that turkey's bad. Turkey's not good. You should definitely have ham. I don't know the deal that turkeys worked out with people to have them like represented a couple times a year but bad deal for the people because turkey's not good turkey's dry it says something when people are like oh not the way i cook my turkey the way i cook my turkey it's not dry i spl i splat cock it or i deep fry it or i dump it in a barrel of butter for six weeks before i grill it or i make a tur turducken out of it Listen, if you gotta go to all that hassle to make something edible, and then it turns out that still half the people tell you it's inedible, and the other half of the people don't wanna hurt your feelings, then turkeys suck. 
If you screw up a ham, then... Take your energy and make some delicious side dishes, bitches.